This is a demonstration on how to set up a vacuum filtration in the organic lab. First you will need um, a clamp, a large clamp to clamp the uh, filter flask, a 250 milliliter filter flask with the uh, nipple on the side. You'll need the, uh, in this experiment, the Buchner funnel. The Buchner funnel is the larger of the two. It takes a 55 millimeter uh, filter paper. There's a smaller version called the Hirsch funnel, but in this experiment we'll be using the uh, Buchner funnel. It sits on top of the filter flask and make sure that the black uh, rubber stopper fits it. You use 55 millimeter paper um, in the filter flask and so make sure it's the right size, although there really isn't any other size in the lab. And then you'll need a pipette to wash your crystals uh, with whatever solvent you're going to use. And then when you're done with the crystal, uh, you need a piece of black tubing to attach to the vacuum tube. And then finally, you'll be scraping your crystals out into either a watch glass or an aluminum weighing dish before you dry them in the oven. So in, to set the apparatus up, what you're going to do is you're going to first um, set up the large clamp and then you're going to clamp the neck of the 250 milliliter filter flask onto that clamp. Uh, you want to make sure that the apparatus is really tight. Uh, ideally if you can get it to sit on the surface of the bench that's fine as well but just make sure that it's tight not going to tip over. If the filter flask is under vacuum and tips over then it can implode so we want to make sure it's clamped up. Then attach the black, one end of the black uh, rubber tubing to the nipple on the uh, filter flask and then you're going to go ahead and attach that to the vacuum um, outlet which is the yellow one at the top of the sides of the hood mm -hmm. and you can turn on the vacuum by using the uh, vac, the yellow uh, knob that will turn on and off the vacuum. So once your apparatus is clamped up and tight, keep the vacuum off. And then you're going to go ahead and take the Buchner funnel in this case. Make sure it's clean if you need to. Rinse it out with acetone, uh, water, and then use a paper towel to kind of uh, clean it up. Then go ahead and it that will fit on the filter flask. And then you're going to go ahead and drop in your piece of filter paper. Now, in general chemistry lab, you usually wet the filter paper uh, to, to get a good seal. You do the same thing in organic, except that you have to decide what solvent you're going to use. And in general, the solvent that we use to uh, wet the filter paper is the same solvent that the crystals are in. For this experiment, it would probably be acetic anhydride, although in this experiment, we're going to wash the crystals first with water, and so it would be okay to wash the filter paper with, uh, or to wet it with water. In general, you have to use the solvent that the crystals are in, because if you have an organic solvent, uh, if you wet the, f the filter paper with water, sometimes the organic solvent won't go through it. Or if our goal is to get the uh, is to get the material in the filter flask, in other words, the solvent, we don't want to get unnecessary amounts of water in the solvent by wetting the piece of filter paper with water. So in general, if you're not sure, ask, but we like to wet the filter paper with whatever the crystals, whatever solvent they're in. Okay, so now we have the apparatus set up. And what you would do next is you would go ahead and wet the filter paper with a little bit of solvent. You'd go ahead and turn the vacuum on. And now with the vacuum going, you would go ahead and pour in the solution of the crystals. Use a spatula to scrape them down onto the piece of filter paper if necessary. And usually we'll allow air to flow through that. If we need to wash the crystals with solvent, you can do that with a pipette, making sure that you get all the crystals um, washed with solvent. And typically the vacuum is on at the time we're doing that.
When we're done, you usually air dry the crystals, let air pass through it through the vacuum for a few minutes. That tends to help dry them. And then when you're done, make sure you first pull the vacuum off tube off of the filter flask and then turn the vacuum off. If you don't take the vacuum tube off while there's still a live vacuum and just shut the uh, valve off, what can happen is that the solvent can shoot up into the vacuum system and we don't want that. Once you have your crystals on the piece of filter paper, then the next goal is usually to dry them. And so you can take the piece of filter paper with the crystals off, put it onto a watch glass or an aluminum dish, but we never put crystals on filter paper in the oven. We always scrape the crystals off directly onto the watch glass or directly onto the aluminum dish. Because if you put crystals on a piece of filter paper in the oven, and they melt because the oven was set too high, what will happen is the crystals will then become part of the piece of filter paper and they'll be lost forever. If they go on the watch glass or the aluminum dish, then, you want to, then they will eventually crystallize when the sample gets cool. Write your name on the underside of the aluminum dish before you put it into the oven. And then again, make sure that just bare crystals are in the aluminum dish before you put it into the oven uh, to make sure that they dry. And when you're going to the oven, make sure that you just get your crystals out. Um, always check the name that's on the underside so that that way you don't take anybody else's crystals. Okay, But we want to make sure that we always put bare crystals on the aluminum dish.